guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to into episode 7 of Wind Breakers. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It's not good. Oof, look at his pretty green eyes. Girl. Girl, I'm sorry. I'm a girl. I need to smell good. Excuse me? What the heck? What happened? What happened? <laughs> Why do I feel like this is about to be hot as fuck? <laughs> You got this. That too, but you got this. Mm -hmm. Do, like he gonna take his glasses off and he gonna be in a replacement So cute. Just so worried about his boy toy. <laughs> so come on, make a move. Girl, I'm. <laughs> I'm not okay. <laughs> that was fast enough, babe. You want thighs?
God damn, babe. No, but something tells me he's gonna come back. Ah! Oh, his nose is done. That flying kick, though. Hello. Hot. <laughs> Fucking hot. He should be dead after that. I'm sorry. Like, dead ass. Damn. You got the wind knocked out of your ass. I mean, you're right about that. Oh.
Yeah, I would be scared shitless right now. Dude, you a fucking madman, but you know what? It's hot. <laughs> The Yowie is definitely strong, like, top tier. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. But, because there always is a but, something happened. Fine. He just looks like a cute little kid in a candy store. <laughs>
But, cause, you know, all, all this is nice, but, that one time, I mean, I... Yeah. Which is what you want, right? I love the imagery with the storm because the storm that's coming, it's him being the leader. Already gone. Oh, right. Ah! And then he takes the jacket off. That was the start. Oh, my God. Bruh, that is dark as fuck. Oh my god. Hmm. And so what he says goes, right? So, you all need to be like him. Oh, my God. But you shouldn't have to. I get it. He He's being very generous and very sweet for him because he's done everything for him.
protect him. It's almost like, in a way, after the point of Choji having that storm come in, he also lost himself because of the fact is he kept overshadowing, like, all these things. Like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take over this. Da, 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 da. You're still the leader, but the skinning, the everything else, I'm going to take on that. And that is a lot of stuff to take on for a person. So there had to be a point. Not only beside and this is the Koji too, but especially taking the damn jacket off and everything, and being like, "Oh yeah, you come home, beat it, beaten and battered AF, you out. Like, why are you even in this?" Um. Yeah, the Yaoi feels was definitely there. It you can see the chemistry between these two and why these two are so very close and why they're still currently close and why he has to and wants to protect him and such but at the same time it's just because as i said once he has protected him he's kind of lost himself at the same time and he doesn't feel like his own person anymore i mean at the beginning he was just the type of guy who was very much fighting a fight and such he was like just this cute boy and then of course here comes you know someone who you think is like a friend and a savior and such and takes you somewhere and they can change you either for better or for worse. And in a way, right, he got changed for the worse. Ever since that day, he's been a completely different person. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, what the hell is that? Okay. <laughs> well, I, I mean, that just tells you Sakura's head is really good and that, you know, he can take anything. So whatever the last two things were had to be something deadly because they really couldn't show because imagery. But no, like I, these last few episodes, especially with these guys who were like friends are just very close. To where it feels like it is a yaoi and has yaoi moments in it. The feels is there. It, it is really there. You feel, you generally feel for the, feel bad for these guys and the situation that they're going through and such. And so, I, I mean, you know, you kind of just wish that these two were gang, <laughs> gang members or just gangs could just like let bygones be bygones. But sometimes it's not always like that. Sometimes you just have to shut the fuck up and literally just duke it out and such and that's really what they want to do right now now however this is going to end next week and leading into you know the leader is going against because i think that's going to be a really good fight also once again cinematography the well, cinematography choreograph everything very very top tier like once again i mean dead ass like thank god it's not like oh hey let's do a mixture of 2d and cgi because i would have been like no, but no, I think honestly, this now is officially my favorite episode. Something about this episode really just like spoke a lot and just oof. not not only because of you know who voices him and it's like that. No, 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 that's like reason number five. But yeah, this episode was just emotional impacting, very emotional impacting and such. And I think a lot of people are definitely going to watch it and be like, God damn, like. This was fucking good. So, yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 7 of Windbreaker. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 8. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.